And so we've seen that most of the times, even the politicians make untrue claims. So they'll tell you this is what we've done and that hasn't been done. And sometimes in our newsrooms, we don't have enough resources to go and find out exactly what our politicians, our leaders, public officials have done. So in the end, we need fact checkers who can then fact check some of these claims for us. So in fact checking is not supposed to be a competition uh, with American um, journalism, rather it's uh, complementary. We are filling in that gap where we are able to go out and verify some of the information that you get and be verified it. So we go a step further with media literacy because now we've got a lot of user generated content. At least in our use rooms, we've got people like who might be in our room and are kind of going to look at your copy and then they're going to verify it. But now we've got lots of user generated content where someone on the street just says something happening, the ticket picture, the ticket video, they send it out there by time you guess you don't even know who, who created that story, you don't know how far true it is, so it's just coming and people are sharing it sharing and verified information. So what we've seen is that so we need to also equip the general public with the skill to fact check, with the skill to critically engage with information. So that's why we do I mean, the media literacy um, issues. I mean this thought a slide on media literacy.